Hi, thanks for tuning in to my VR Integrator How To series. In this video, we're going to show you how to communicate between the radial menu to the level blueprint. So, what we're going to use is something called an event dispatcher. Uh, in this example, we're going to use the game mode to be the relay, but you could use the player character VR pawn uh, or even uh, game instance. Uh, I am using the game mode in this example, so that would only work in a single player. Um, and a multiplayer game mode is not uh, replicated down to the other clients. So let's get going. So the first thing I want to do is create a uh, modifier game mode. I don't have uh, one set up, so I'm going to create one from scratch. We'll go to game mode base and GM example. And what we want to do is, um, between the UMG and level blueprint, it's really hard sometimes to get messages back and forth because uh, the widgets don't really exist um, in the beginning, and then the level blueprint is really hard to get reference to. So something they both can have access to is the game mode. So in the game mode, we'll do something called an event dispatcher. So we'll do a plus event dispatcher at the bottom, and we'll do on something selected. And that's it. Go ahead and save that. And we can set our game mode up, or if you already have a game mode set up, uh, to the level itself. Um, go to the settings, world settings, and on the game mode, I'll use my new one I created. There we go. Uh, that way now, that's going to be loaded mem memory. So the next thing I want to do is go to my radio menu. And one of the, uh, whenever I click on the slot torpedo, I want it to to do something my radio menu to the level itself. So I'll go ahead and hit the graph once I open that button up. And here is where we do the actions. Um, so what we could do is go ahead and disconnect this. And then we want to get the game mode. And we'll want to cast that game mode to the game mode we just created. There we go. And then from there we can go ahead and call that new function on select on selected call call on something selected and that will actually call the event dispatcher in the game mode so that part of it is done it's pretty straightforward on the button side of it um, now what we need to do is go into the level blueprint itself so we'll go to blueprints and open the level blueprint. Now we need to bind a delegate to that event dispatcher. So whenever it's called in the game mode, the level blueprint knows that it's being called. So at the, on the begin play in your level blueprint, we want to go ahead and do the almost the same thing. We want to do a uh, get game mode and then cast that to the same game mode we just created. GM example. And then if that exists, we want to go ahead and bind a delegate. So to on selected, on something selected. So we want to bind event to on something selected. So once we do that, now we need to give it an event. So we'll go drag this off and hit add event, custom event. And uh, whatever event we want to do, uh, play music. Play torpedoes. Torpedo music. All right, so from here, this would be like whatever function we want to do and continue on with our logic. So that's how we would route messages from the radio menu itself down to the level blueprint using the game mode as an intermediary between the two of them. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. And again, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.